All right, Jeff Rossin, another one of his uh, very interesting reports. All right, so one day of 90, that's okay. Two days, now it's starting to get a little hot Every here. It's a trend. Right, everybody's starting to say, hmm, can we go out to the pool? As Jeff Rossin was <laughs> uh, inquiring there. Hi there, Kevin. It looks like not only hot out there, but also could be a little rocky tonight. Yeah, we're keeping a close eye on the potential for storms, but I was certainly thinking that as we were driving into work today, it's like, where are the pools? They would yeah. be packed on a day <laughs> like today out there. And you know what? The good news is if you've got something you want to do at home this evening, or if you're lucky enough to have a pool in your own backyard, look behind me here on radar. You're in pretty good shape. In fact, I think much, if not all of the evening is fairly dry for us around here. Now we are keeping a close eye on the radar because of the fact that to our north is a stationary front uh, hovering pretty close to I-70. And you can kind of see evidence of this by the fact that there have been some storms kind of percolating along this front, moving from Indiana back through Ohio. However, the front is in no hurry to be shoved south. So until until we can get that trigger, i.e. this stationary front moving south, you know what? I think we're in decent shape the next few hours. Now, here's a look at the other image across the Midwest. There were plenty of showers and storms to our north, and I do think eventually this front becomes more active with showers and storms, but it's just in no hurry to push into our area. So as we take a live look at Indian Hill, Good Shepherd Montessori right now, I'm keeping an eye on the clouds. They are beginning to bubble up some, so the atmosphere is plenty hot. It's plenty conducive for storms. We just don't have a trigger to set those storms off. So that front's in the vicinity, but it's not doing that at the moment. So that's something we'll watch through the evening. But as of now, I think the majority of your evening is dry. The later we get into the night, though, as we get closer to midnight, I think the threat for showers and storms will begin to increase. That said, it is going to be very warm this evening. In fact, we are going to stay in the 80s, you know, in the city here, probably through 10 o'clock. In the burbs, you'll be well into the 70s much of the night. So here's a live look downtown right now. Hot June sunshine, 88 degrees at the airport. Those dew points, they've climbed into the 60s, so you're starting to feel the mugginess of the air just a little bit. Around the area, we may not have officially hit 90 here in Cincinnati. Mason, though, is at 90, 90 in Loveland, currently 86 in Wilmington, Hillsboro, 88 in Springboro. Hamilton's at 88. You're in the upper 80s as well, south of the Ohio River. So watch what I mean here on Futurecast. Again, the front is close, but there's just no real trigger. Now, the best shot at seeing a storm this evening would be farther north of the Ohio River in our northernmost community. So if you're up here in Fayette Union, Franklin County in southeast Indiana, Butler, Warren, Clinton counties, you have the best shot of seeing a storm anytime soon. The rest of us, I think, are pretty quiet. Now, Futurecast hasn't been doing the best job with this. I think first thing in the morning there could be a few downpours around the area, but the greatest coverage, as you can see, will be tomorrow afternoon and evening when I suspect most of us get in on some rain. And with that front parked in our area, we will keep the threat for scattered showers and thunderstorms right on into Friday. Storms die down tomorrow evening and then they increase again Friday afternoon and evening. So your forecast, nice and warm, partly cloudy for most of us tonight. Very late storms across the area. The exception, farther north of the river, you could have a rogue storm or two earlier this evening. Otherwise, muggy sunshine tomorrow. It's another weather impact day with scattered storms more in the afternoon. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We're up to 86 tomorrow, 85 on Saturday, and then it looks like we're at 85 on Saturday as well, and then back down into the upper 70s by the time we get into the weekend. Mike and Sheree with a little bit of a cool down. All, All right, right, Kevin. Thank you.